Hey, it's me. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. So look here. That's right. I'm still sheltering. <laughs> Sheltered. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Wait a second. Hold on. Before I do, what am I going to drink? I have my filtered water. Wait, 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 wait. I should do some. Nah, I'll do tea later. Oh, chocolate. Need some chocolate. We're going to the end of this. You know, I think I might go down to Trader Joe's one time this week. Go down early. Just to stand in line, put my headphones on, listen to somebody's podcast, whatever it is. Silk almond, whatever, 25 less sugar than blah, blah, blah. Cholesterol, 0%. What is this? Total carbs, 7%. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, blah, blah, whatever. I don't care about that kind of stuff. <laughs> my, my wife says, she's, of course, since I'm... Since I'm here in an undisclosed location, I'm not where I'm supposed to be, which is in South Africa with my wife and in the Eastern Cape, you know, growing our own food, you know, growing our own, you know, when I say growing our own food, I mean, you know, growing the animals and growing the, the little plant-based things, you know, whatever, the vegetables and the, you know. In fact, we even got moringa, moringa trees down there. Where's my top of moringa? That's what I was talking about now. Yeah, in South Africa, let me explain something about South Africa. I mean, if you can get past all the other stuff, you know, what South Africa has is everything. <laughs> I mean, you know, they got some incredible medicinal stuff. I hear that even they even got, uh, anyway, so stuff is going to happen. I'm going to take my moringa bitters. You know about moringa bitters, right? I, I have this, I got a big bottle. And, you know, usually I just leave the moringa bitters out. But I've been putting it in the refrigerator these days. I don't know why. I just have. Okay, we're taking a little bit long with this introduction here. Hold on. So what I've been doing, get my chocolate now. I should wait. Let the bitters do their thing. Um, you know what I do? I take these notes, you know. I take notes, you know. I take notes all throughout the week. I've been taking notes. But I know, I, let me, right now, I'm so sequestered right now. I'm not even going over to my other place to record, you know, uh, over at my, my fraternity brother's house. I'm not going over there to record. Uh, I'm just staying here for the rest of the week because earlier I had earlier like a couple of days I had some sort of weird ache maybe it was just because I was sleeping on a pillow or something like that but I, it felt like hey maybe I'm getting a corona man how you get, they get you paranoid or whatever so I said let me just chill you know I'm not going no place I got everything I got my refried beans I got pancake mix I got all I got everything I need right here you know <laughs> I don't have to worry about no meat Pff, forget me you know? I haven't no I'm just not. okay so going on, man, I got notes like Eidos is, uh, is a political movement focused on the American um, uh, political machine. Makes sense. Then got this thing somebody had said, I don't have my reading glasses, privilege protection racket. Well, oh, that's Aaron Mante, the, the, the journalist. He calls it a, a privilege protection racket. That's what's going on right now. The, the, the government, everybody, the, the, you know, they're privileged. They want to protect their privilege. And it's a racket, you know, <laughs> like that. Uh, proximity to, uh, pro oh, hmm. Proximity to the process gives you power, the middleman. This is the modern thing that actually, when they say that the, the, we went off the gold standard in the 70s, whatever we also happened in the 70s, we also, it, it, everything is weird, it was a perfect storm for, for this, whatever's happening right now. In the 70s, that's when you had the advent of these middlemen, these administrators. Now, I'll get into another story how I dealt with it. Well, I had a whole problem, you know. That's how I got out of the medical field because of the administrators, you know. But what happens is you have a, you have a model, right? And the model, you know, you have your big boss, whatever, have you, and then your workers, you're going along rather nice. Then it gets bored out by somebody. They said, oh, we have to manage this situation, right? So the big boss, they retire him or whatever, they, they, some political intrigue, whatever they do, manipulations they do, right? So now you have these people that have to be managed. Now, instead of just one boss telling them what to do, they keep on putting these people in between, sectioning people off. So now you have all these mid-managers, right? And now... So if I know somebody and I say, well, how do I get to talk to this person here? Well, I talk to somebody who's connected to somebody who's connected to that person. 
you see? So that's how I get myself to, so, so what happens, it, it, what I'm trying to say, since the 70s, you have so many companies, so many situations where you have mid-management, you have managers, people, and then they have to justify themselves for being there, so they do some stupid stuff. Anyway, so I, I'm, I what that note is. But then I was thinking, right? Uh, oh, then last note, I'm going to bring it all home now. Maybe I won't. Um, Biden is the perfect modern political stooge. Biden, Joe Biden, the ex vice president, the uh, the 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 ex. I guess I'll say ex. Let me say the the person who used to be vice president, the person who. Hmm. But you but you never stop being vice president. That's right. So he's still vice president. I mean, he's cool like that. The ex uh, collaborator with racists. Well, you don't, you're not an ex. You're still a collaborator with racists. I mean, that's in your DNA. That's your source, you know? So on am trying to say, people like that, they identify them very early and they put them in positions where they can ascend. They know they're not going to change their stripes. They ascend to situations where they, 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 they get to be the ones that protect <laughs> the people who chose them to put these situations. So therefore, what are you going to do? You're not going to choose somebody that's not going to, that's going to go and go against you. We're going to choose a stooge. So Biden's been a stooge all his life. That's what I'm trying to say. And and so so now he's now he's in place to do whatever they do, but it's not going to work this time. Why? Well, I don't think it's going to work this time. No, it's not going to work this time. I'm going to tell you why. I just had a call from my, from my uh, sorority sister. And so she wanted some information, whatever happened. So I was telling her about, because you want to know about Bitcoin. That's what it was. So I was planning, explaining about Bitcoin. I said, look, right now, just get a Bitcoin wallet. Don't worry about it. Just get a Bitcoin wallet because things are changing, right? Just get a Bitcoin wallet. You don't have to know nothing about Bitcoin. Just get a wallet. Wallets use, when I got a Bitcoin wallet, it was, long as it was, it was free. When it was like five years ago, whenever I got it, four years ago, whenever I put my little Bitcoin thing there. That was another story on that. But here's the thing. But what happens, and now she's a mathematical person. She's in real estate, you know, and now she's questioning about that. So what I do, instead of trying to give a whole spiel, I said, look, pay attention to Max Kaiser. That's just your porthole into the understanding of Bitcoin. That, in fact, is her manager. You see, you have to choose your managers, right? So so everything, so if it, if it comes through the Kaiser report, then she could check it out. You know what I mean? Anything else, you know, you might check it out what it is. So that, that's your main focus, right? And so I was saying it was, but you know, because we, the fraternity, the, the organization, Pentecost organization, we, every other week we're trying to get together some of the brothers and sisters. You know, they talk on a, one of these Zoomy things, not Zoomy things, the, the audio chat things. Um, but what, but, but, um, but what we need to do, because it's a small group, it's, you know, it's not that small, it maybe 16 people show up at any particular time. But I rather small groups, like, you know, anywhere from four to 12, right? And you have a little expertise. Somebody's a math, they, let them do the research on Bitcoin. Let them, people do the research on, on ADOS. Let people do that, 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 you know? And, and that's what I was telling her to do. Anyway, so the point really is, is that your small circle, then you have to trust your people in your small circle and they go out and do the stuff. And you don't have any stooges. <laughs> the the way the situation is right, they got they get the, the all the stooges. The stooges are now running around in in charge, and they they hitting things. They don't know what to do. They oh, well, what should we do now? Then you know the you understand. It's a it's an interesting situation. Oh, some dog is barking around here. Maybe somebody left their dog all day because we are sequestered. Talk to you later. <laughs>